short TV series go way back into the 70s. Why is it only becoming popular recently? Well, they were very popular back then as well at one point. Um, they really began with late sixes, probably the Foresight Saga, which was a, which was an adaptation of uh, of a novel, obviously. And then and then you had stuff like Rich Man Poor Man and um, Root, uh, incredibly popular. Both of them in this country as well. Um, so. Obviously, in the, in the, so in the 70s, the, 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 there were these events that, um, that people used to watch. And then, uh, over time, their popularity declined because, you know, there was this connotation about how, um, especially from, from the audience, uh, how they were more about melodrama and this kind of staid and, and um, the horrible things that you watched for four weeks and then you forgot about. Well, you mentioned Roots. What mm -hmm. made Roots so popular? Well, I mean, obviously it was this... Uh, uh, well, well, there were, there were uh, a couple of reasons, really. The work itself was, was fantastic. And uh, they recently remade it, obviously not at all, uh, reaching the sort of quality and all the popularity of the original. Um, so there was the, uh, the, the content itself, which was great. Uh, the, the, it was a fantastic show from a, a, a very famous uh, sort of uh, source material. But at the same time, you see, that's the difference. Now, you can watch these things on, online or, or you can record them and watch them later. This is in the 1970s, people watched these things, watched these shows as they were being um, shown uh, all over the world, in, in the country. Well, what and are the, some of the advantages of the miniseries? Well, um, well, first of all, people have shorter attention spans these days, so there's that. Um, also, you can get a lot of top talent because otherwise um, you're not going to get... So let's talk about, like, True Detective. Uh, Matthew McConaughey and uh, the first season. Matthew McConaughey and um, Woody Harrelson. Uh, this was the, the height of the uh, Matthew McConaughey renaissance, you know, the, the McConaissance, uh, rather. You would, you would never get these two people to agree to star in an ongoing show for seven years, you know, three quarters of the year they spend just shooting this television show, you'd not be able to do that. So you get the talent, that's the first thing. Secondly, for writers, they know that things are not going to extend beyond uh, the natural ending, um, which unfortunately is changing now. As they talk about, you know, in, in True Detective, there's this thing, time is a flat circle, which, you know, whatever that means, because I don't know how circles, all circles are flat, but anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, but now, um, so Big Little Lies from last year, for example, uh, which is a, you know, self-contained story and it definitely has an ending, they're talking of making it, making a second season of this. Yeah. And well, Big Little Lies is one of the nominees. Um, at the Emmys. Well, it was obviously it won, it won, it won, yeah. it won the award. What are some other um, nominees as well this year? Well, I mean, this year uh, it was it, it was not a surprise that Big Little Lies won, um, but Fargo, uh, which again, I mean, this is the this is the thing about miniseries. You see, every single or American Crime Story or American Horror Story, it's the same sort of creative force, but a different story. Every, each season, so it's it's kind of best of both worlds. This, this is the thing about miniseries. This is the thing about the the, the second phase of television's golden age. Um, if, if television's golden age that people are talking about, which I don't really buy, but whatever, you know, let's go with it. In 1999, with with The Sopranos, the second phase is all about um, the destruction of form and function. So you've got these miniseries that kind of act like. TV movies and also long-form drama and whatever. So anyway, going back to your question, you had Fargo, um, which was great. Uh, you had The Night Of, which was not great because I'm, I, I wasn't a big fan. And you had the feud, um, uh, <coughs> Betty, about the feud between Betty Davis and John Crawford, which I loved. Yeah. But anyway, um, uh, Big Little Lies so one. are some of the advantages. Thanks for a great review there, Ali. It was a pleasure having you again on our show. Lovely to be here. Thank you.